2016 is almost over, but this past year there's been a lot of work done on different future technologies that were thought to be really far out a couple of years ago, but are now actually somewhat close to reality. Hey what's up everyone, CTN Technology News here, and today I'm going to be looking at some of the coolest gadgets that are going to be coming out sometime in the near future. So first off, the groundbreaking nanotechnology company StoreDot recently unveiled a prototype for a next generation battery that harnesses all of their knowledge of energy storage. The science is a bit complex, but the outcome of this new battery is simple. As a result of the new nanodots that they're actually packing into this thing, this battery can be fully charged in only 30 seconds. The best thing is that since StoreDot's nanodots are bioorganic, they're more environmentally friendly, not to mention more power efficient than a lot of other competing nanodot technologies which often and use dangerous metals and chemicals. They're also really cheap to manufacture, so we might be seeing really super fast batteries in our smartphones before too long. Now something else that's pretty cool is 3D printed food. BioZoom is harnessing the power of 3D printing to create the Senio Pro, which is a range of 3D printable powder mixtures that solidify when printed, but also quickly melt when eaten. The main target for this new 3D printable food are elderly patients who suffer from dysphagia or the inability to swallow. This would definitely reduce the risk of choking, and the 3D printed nature of Senio Pro means that caregivers and family members can really easily mix and match the powders to create all types of dishes. You can also add coloring agents and texturizers to make the food even more appealing. Now something else that's pretty cool is Cave 2, which is a hybrid reality environment that lets artists, scientists, and engineers become fully immersed in their research. If you've ever seen a movie with like lots of holographic technology, that's basically what this thing is. It's a 360 degree wraparound structure consisting of 72 LCD panels, a 20 speaker surround system, and a 10 camera optical motion tracking system that allows it to actually detect the way that the scientists are moving. Now with 3D glasses, scientists and engineers will actually be able to virtually experience and move through anything of their choosing, whether that's the human body or planets in the solar system. This holds an immense amount of potential, especially for situations involving large amounts of data requiring visualization. Now if you're a Star Wars fan, the Aerofex Aero X, which is a real life equivalent of the Star Wars speeder bike, is definitely something you'll want to keep your eyes on. The Aero X is the result of more than 15 years of research and development, and it's powered by a water-cooled 240 horsepower engine and two large rotors. It can hover at an altitude of 12 feet, and it speeds of up to 45 miles per hour, and it can also carry up to 310 pounds. Also, as a result of this extended research and development period, Aerofex claims to have overcome the dangerous coupling effects that can arise due to using two rotors, ensuring that the AeroX will be used safe and easy to control. The AeroX is currently available to pre-order for a refundable $5,000 deposit, and the final unit is scheduled to be available in 2017 at the price of $85,000. Now the last technology in this video is the one that I think is the coolest of them all. Jetpack International is actually making great strides in jetpack technology with their H202 and H202Z jetpacks. As the name suggests, both the H202 and H202Z are hydrogen peroxide fuel jetpacks that will allow users to fly at up to 77 miles per hour and at a maximum height of 250 feet. So far, the higher capacity model is only capable of a maximum flight length of 33 seconds, but there's definitely room for improvement in the future. The Jetpack International units have great potential, and the lacking travel time and distance is definitely outweighed by how mobile and controllable the flight is, not to mention how compact the units actually are. The Jetpack International models are actually currently available, but not commercially. You can assemble the Jetpack yourself if you have $100,000 lying around. But anyways, that's basically it for this video. If you know of any other really cool technologies that are going to be coming in the near future, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below, and with that said, I will see you next time.